the joy of music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today for our program entitled A Musical Journey on the Rhine River. Come with us on our musical adventure with music from towns and cities, churches and cathedrals found nearby and along the beautiful Rhine River. Thank you for joining us. In our travel along the Rhine River, we take a short trip overland to the town of Heidelberg. Heidelberg is a romantic town situated at the heart of Europe, approximately 80 miles south of Frankfurt. Heidelberg is Germany's oldest university town and one of the most charming, beautifully situated amid the lush green woodlands of the Neckar Valley, east of the Rhine. It has long been a contemplative home for philosophers and poets. At the center of the market plots stands the Heilige Geist Kirche, or Holy Ghost Church. As a Roman basilica, the origins of this church date back to 1239, but the present church in part dates to 1398, being built in the Gothic style. From 1816 through following centuries, the church frequently changed its denominations from Catholic to Protestant, with a partition being erected in 1706 so both denominations could use the church.
The view from the old bridge or Alterbruch and the Bruken Tor, which is the bridge gate, is one of the most beautiful in Heidelberg and gives us the best perspective of this unique town. A cradle of the German Romantic movement, there is certainly no more romantic ruin in Germany than Heidelberg's castle. For centuries, the home of the Palatinate princess until burned out in the 17th century. On our Rhine River journey, we come to the town of Rudesheim, the center of the Rheingau. It is one of the most picturesque and historical along the river. The historical roots of Rudesheim reach back to before the Roman era. Rudesheim is perhaps the best known of the Rhineland's wine villages. Most of its original old timber framed houses were bombed in World War II. But the reconstructed replicas are just as picturesque. It was of great interest for us at the Joy of Music to know that there is found here in Rudesheim 
a musical instruments museum. We paid a visit to this fascinating place. It's our delight to be here in Rudesheim in the Musical Instrument Museum. And I am here with the owner of this fascinating museum, Siegfried. Siegfried, thank you for allowing us to come and hear these fascinating instruments. Thank you that you are here. How long have you owned this museum? Um, the museum is open to the public since 69. Mm -hmm. But I started to collect earlier, so I'm now, uh, it's now 40 years ago that I started to collect mechanical musical instruments. Mm -hmm. The name of our program is The Joy of Music, and we're delighted to be able to be here and listen and see some of your instruments. Can you tell us about the Lorelei? Yeah, the Lorelei is not far away from Rudersheim on the Rhine River, and uh, so Mr. Silcher wrote the music, and. Heinrich Heine, the text for this song. Yes. When this uh, instrument came on the market in 1909 on the music fair in Leipzig, uh, they called it the eighth wonder of the world. And why is that? Because people believe that a piano could be played from a paper roll, mm -hmm. but that's a soulful instrument. The violin could be played from a piece of paper nobody believed. I'm sure they didn't. In the 18th century, uh, rich people had furniture with music inside. Yes. And they were, uh, they were called flute organ clocks or uh, flute movements. 
And as we know, all the important composers from the 18th century composed special music mm -hmm. for flute organs. Haydn, Mozart, Beethoven, Beethoven. Yes. they all uh, made special compositions. And Mozart, as a genius, knew exactly that he had more than 10 fingers for his composition. Yes. So Köchelverzeichnis 608 is not to be played by human hands. By hand. human fingers. I, yeah. I because, play many of these on my concerts yeah. by Haydn. Yeah, the Haydn pieces you can play on the organ, yes. but Köchelverzeichnis 608, no, no way. <laughs> so now we'll play this are six pieces from high. This looks like a desk. It is a writing desk, a lady's writing desk. Uh huh. With a clock in With it. With a clock inside. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And the little pipes on the inside. Pipes on the inside, and the big heavy weight is um, running a, a pump. I see that in this instrument you have pipes, like a pipe organ. That's right. But we have also a piano and a mandolin violin flutes, flutes, trumpets, clarinets, yes. big drum, small drum, cymbal, glockenspiel, xylophone, woodblock, mm. and um, castanet. Ah, yes. It, would this be an instrument you would play on the street or inside of a ho house? This was specially built for inside. The most spectacular part of our Rhine journey is found after Mainz, where we enter the Rhine Gorge, combining treacherous waters, rocky banks, the lure of medieval castles, beauty of the landscape, and famous vineyards, which cling to the lower slopes, makes this one of Europe's most popular tourist destinations.
Gorshausen is only a few kilometers from the Lorelei Rock. Here, the Rhine makes a sharp turn as we pass through the narrowest and shallowest part of the Middle Rhine. Full of dangerous currents, legend has it that many sailors lost their lives here as they passed a beautiful maiden named Laura, sitting on a rock combing her golden hair. In our musical journey on the Rhine, we have seen many historical churches and castles, which bring to mind the words and music of Martin Luther's great hymn, Ein Feste Burg. A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing.
My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you a program entitled, A Musical Journey on the Rhine River. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. If you would like to purchase today's program or any program from our library of over 400, please visit our website at dianebishtv.com or call 1-800-933-4844. We look forward to hearing from you.